Getting started programming for Minecraft Alpha 1.2.2a has never been easier. First, start by downloading the Java Development Kit. You can find it at intent.store slash download JDK. If you prefer using a different version of JDK, that's fine. This is just really easy and doesn't require a developer login to Oracle. Next, you want to download MCP22a. The link will also be in the description for this. And finally, you want to download the LWJGL 2.9.3. Link will also be in the description for this. Next, you want to open the Minecraft launcher, go to installations, check historical, and create a new installation called whatever you want. I'm just going to call it alpha. Then you're going to scroll all the way down to old alpha A122A. And then you're going to hit create and launch. Once it's started, you're going to go to mods and texture packs and open the texture pack folder and replace texture packs with versions. Now you find the A122A folder. You're going to click on that. You're going to take the jar and you're going to copy it to your clipboard. Then wherever you want, I'm going to choose documents. I'm going to create a new folder called MCP. Then I'm going to the download of the MCP. I'm going to extract it all into this folder. Next, I'm going to expand the jars folder and create a new folder called bin. Inside the bin, I'm going to paste the alpha version of Minecraft and rename it to minecraft.jar. Then, I'm going to create another folder called natives. Next, I'm going to open the LWJGL we just downloaded. I'm going to open the jar folder and then I'm going to copy LWJGL util and LWJGL into the same folder. Then I'm going to open the natives folder and I'm going to go back to the natives folder in the LWJGL zip. Then I'm going to click windows because that's the operating system I'm on. And I'm going to copy all of the dynamic load libraries into this folder. Lastly, I can hit decompile. The decompile script will run and you'll have all the source code available. If you want to turn this into an Eclipse workspace, open Eclipse. Select the folder you want for your workspace. In this case, I'm using the MCP folder and hit launch. Next, you create a Java project and I'll call it client. Then we want to open up our folder, go to sources, Minecraft, and copy the net into client SRC. Then we'll refresh the project in Eclipse. And there's going to be a few errors, and this is because we're missing dependencies. So we're going to build path, configure build path, libraries, and add external jars. Then we're going to MCP jars, bin, and we're going to highlight these three jars and hit open. Lastly, we're going to click on the Minecraft. We're going to click native library location, external folder, and then we're going to find the folder jars, bin, natives. OK, and apply and close. Now you can press the debug option, select the Minecraft class, and Minecraft will launch an eclipse.